Hey guys, this is Patrick. Today we're gonna do and talk about the auras. Let's start with the red color. Red color, so it means you are well grounded, like with the root chakra, and you're an energetic person, uh, a very strong and physical. You can be very competitive, and you're more likely to be like a leader, entrepreneur, achiever, a lot of courage. Then there's the orange color. Orange color, you are adventurous, uh, you're thinking a lot and you considerate a lot. Uh, you're having pleasure, but you always enjoy what you do and you like challenges and you're a positive person. Very productive and you like adventure and business. The yellow color is playful, very sunny, creative, fun. Uh, you like to learn a lot, you like to move, uh, entertain others. You're very optimistic and you're very warm and charming, but as well easygoing. With the green color, you're very social. This brings you communication and as well, uh, like you think uh, very quickly and you like to have goals. You have a taste for luxury and responsibility organizing and uh, social. So we have the blue, the blue color, so you're very intuitive, you're spiritual, you are caring, sensitive, loving, helpful, very loyal, uh, compassion, peaceful, desire, and devoted. Indigo color, uh, you have clarity, you are a calm person, uh, you have a lot of feelings and a lot of love, uh, you're most likely to be introverted, but you are very authentic and you have a lot of value and uh, you are artistic. Violet color or lavender, you are intuitive, artistic, idealistic, magical, sensual, futuristic, visionary and inventor. And there's the white color, uh, you are transcendent, spiritual, uh, you have a lot of internal uh, thoughts and feelings. Uh, you do a lot of transformations, but you're a quiet person, very sensitive, and you like a uh, higher dimension. So that was the colors. Let's see now the different layers. So what do they mean? Uh, the first layer is really in contact uh, with our body. So it is the etheric layer, uh, but it's as well uh, the physical layer. So this layer uh, is diminished while we're awake and it replenished when we are resting or sleeping. Uh, it is connected to our physical comfort and health and as well our five senses. After we have the emotional aura, this, uh, this is an emotional layer which emits our sensitive nature. It is where we provide our self-love. Then we have the third one, which is the mental aura or the mental layer. Uh, we use this layer frequently because uh, it is where the reasons and the thoughts are residing. Uh, you use this energy uh, of this layer to work on studies, on focus and execute your thinking and your belief and your values. The number fourth is the astral layer. This keeps the records of your soul and lives, even the past lives past experience, past relationships, and your childhood. The fifth layer is the spiritual or the template aura, or the layer. Uh, this layer, you connect with other people with spiritual matters. You grow and you can shine brighter uh, if you are teaching someone, if you're sharing your experience. Uh, it is mainly about communication and engaging with others on a spiritual level. The number six layer, celestial uh, layer, act as your third eye. Uh, so the same as the chakra. So it helps you to see uh, things uh, as your intuitions. It is your, as well, related to your dreams and uh, be aware uh, of your instincts. And the seventh layer, the absolute, the divine, uh, but it's most uh, of the time is the causal layer. It's the final aura layer, and this acts uh, as a net, as an antenna, to keep uh, each individual layer uh, confined in, in the body um, around us. 